Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Microsoft Flight Simulator video now. Um, we've tried streaming it twice but however um, the internet doesn't seem to want to be on my side today so instead we're just going to put it up as a video. So we are in a Logan Air Twin Otter on the ground at Glasgow Airport and uh, we're going to be taking this for a quick flight up to Barra. Right, aircraft isn't powered on or anything yet so we'll get the main DC master switch on. We'll get the source from uh, off to battery. We're going to make this disappear oh, for a minute. <clears throat> we are now going to... Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. We are going to get the... What are we going to do first? We're going to sort the route out. So, we are... Menu... Nope. Flight plan. We need to put the initial waypoint in. So, we're going to come down here. I'm going to get up close and personal with it. Uh, we're going to push, and we're going to do uh, echo. So we're going to go this way. No, we should have gone the other way, but oh well. Oh no, gone past it. Echo. Gulf. Papa. I should have gone the other way. And then the PQ. And then we're looking for Foxtrot. Glasgow. Happy days. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Navigraph just because um, we've not done a route for it on Simbri for anything like that. So let's have a look here. That's Sumbra. We really don't need Sumbra. So from Glasgow, uh, we're going to depart on a Clyde. So if we go menu, we can select departure. The winds are currently, let's have a look, Doo -doo -doo -doo. 220 at 18 knots, so 180220, so we'll be departing runway 23, uh, it's going to be a Clyde 3 Alpha departure, happy days, we're going to load that in, so from Clyde, we are going to go, there's Thierry there, so we are going to go to TIR. Nice and easy. Straight line. Uh, T. Go this way. Oh, there we are. T. I. R. Oh, there we are. Happy days. That's the VOR we're looking for. And then it's going to be straight to Barra. So Barra is Echo Golf uh, Papa Romeo. So we're going to need Echo. So this way. Echo. Mm, no. Golf Papa Romeo. Oh, there we are. Come past it. Papa Romeo. There we are. So that now, if we come out of the flight plan, that's going to give us our lovely, lovely route. Happy days. And yes, Clyde to Thierry is actually all on the same same line, so it wouldn't make any difference if we put Clyde, Finner, Bruce, and then Thierry in because it's all the exact same heading. So, <clears throat> right, we are going to get the aircraft ready for departure. So we're going to come up here, turn you on. We're going to do, 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 do lighting. Uh, we don't need reading lights on or anything. Uh, we're going to get fasten seat belts, no smoking, nav lights, and we're going to get the anti-collision lights on because we're about to get on our way. So let's come down here. We're going to get the boost pumps on for both of the engines. We're going to double check, make sure the parking brake is set, which it is. We are now going to... Double check up here. Let's have a look here. Engine port. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Cool. So let's go ahead and start the right hand side engine. Lovely. 
Lovely. So we've got a good start on engine number two. Let's get a good start on number one, please. We're going to come down here. We're going to put that to GPS as well. Happy days. We're going to cruise at uh, 8,000 feet on this flight because it is it's not due to be too long. So I think that's quite a good... Uh, quite a good uh, altitude so 8,000 feet let's uh, let's start our taxi shall we so parking brake off wait hang on a second do, 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 do. let's come back a bit flight compartment lights taxi lights anywhere position anti collision Caution lights, taxi light, there we are. Also get the pitot heat on as well. Alright, let's get parking brake off. And swing that nose around. Killing many, many Steves on the way. I'm also going to get uh, takeoff flap set, which is just position one. Very windy in Glasgow here right now. Just because of the, the nature of the aircraft, uh, we're going to make a right turn here. Actually, let me see if we make sure I've got that right first of all. So we're just going to come to a quick. Yeah, yeah, we're going to make a right turn here and we're going to do an intersection departure from Charlie. Happy days. Very windy, it just keeps trying to push the tail around. Alright, happy days. So yeah, we'll do an intersection departure from uh, from Charlie, which will be this one on the left, I think. Yes, it will be. Lovely. So Charlie was, of course, the old, old runway that's uh, not in use anymore. So, it's now just a taxiway. Uh, right. So, let's now get everything else on that we need. So, we're going to get landing lights on. We're going to get the uh, leads on. Hold here for a second. Get the strobe lights on. Of course, it's over here, and everything else should be as required. Cool. Flaps are set for departure. Release parking brake. Let's go up, and we're going to make a left turn because uh, we're using runway two three. We'll do a rolling takeoff, so we're not going to stop on the runway. Okay, that's just the wind pushing us around there. Alright, let's go. Bottle set. Power set, engines are stable, there's 80 knots already, 50 knots across the ground, let's rotate, uh, there we are, let's get those flaps up before they shear off, there we are, holding about 100 knots for the climb, Great thing about 20 knot winds. Right, let's uh, get the autopilot on. Uh, it's going to be good nav mode. Gonna continue climbing about 11, please. And uh, let's come down here and actually just double check, make sure what's happening. 
happening is right. Yes, it is. Trim in motion. Wait, what's this? Altitude alert. Oh, okay. I don't want that one. Altitude. Right, come on. Can we just climb past it, please? No, apparently not. Why are you... you into outer space. Cool. I re-engage your pilot. Marvellous. There we are. I hadn't armed it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's keep climbing because we're about to punch through speeds and fun stuff. Get nav mode back on. Oopsie daisies. lovely wing view. Ah, oh, Glasgow. Right, so that's us climbing up. We've uh, turned off uh, and we're heading now. There's the airport behind us. So it says we're going to arrive in 52 minutes. Not bad, not bad at all. So it's climbing through 3,300 feet. I think uh, it's about to go above the clouds. It's probably a good time to say, see you at top of descent. We'll see you there. So, hello, welcome back. Yeah, this has really not been the most interesting of flights. You're basically looking at what I've been able to see for the past sort of 40 minutes. Clouds. It was alright over Glasgow and... Uh, and now it's suddenly descended into chaos, so that's fine. We are just going to make sure, I'm noticing some snow, so we're going to make sure all the uh, anti-ice is on. Uh, we're going to get it on to manual. We're going to do all of that. Oh, sorry, we're going to get it onto auto. We're going to get it fast. I'm going to get everything else on. Happy days. Right, so we are now overhead Tiri, I think, roughly. Uh, yes, that would be correct. We're just coming over here. Not that you'd be able to see much anyway if you're sitting in the back. Just see some snow going going past the window. Yeah, no, we're going to start our descent uh, in the next couple of minutes, really. Okay, so we are descending now down into Barra. It has been very, very windy. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're about nine minutes away from Barra now. And, uh, yeah, we're starting our descent lovely about 1,000 feet per minute. Just to keep us coming down. So 7,000 feet, we've got eight minutes and 50 seconds to run, so that works out about right. We are building up with ice. <laughs> Which is just great. So I'm glad I turned the uh, the anti-ice on. Because we are descending through icing clouds. Which is just, just marvellous. Gotta love icing clouds. But yeah, no, so um, great fun. Um, so the weather in Barra at the moment uh, is... That's not telling me anything. Um, So at the moment, according to Google, because <laughs> it's the only one that will tell me, we have 30 mile an hour winds coming from the southwest. So, looks like we'll be coming in from the northeast, and that's fine. Ooh, big brain move there. Uh, let's see about getting some. Uh, I thought I put the uh, windshield. Oh, windshield. 
Oh no, that's just washer. Ah, oh, heat. There we are. <laughs> it's covered in ice. Alright, windshield heat's on, so that'll start melting away hopefully soon. Uh, 6,300 feet. Um, we're uh, seven minutes to go, so we'll keep a thousand feet per minute at the moment just until we pop out the bottom of the clouds. Um, yeah. But no, yeah, this has been much, much the view. <laughs> Are we starting to see blue down there? No, I don't think so. There's blue right down there, but there's no blue over there. <gasps> there is some blue over there now. I see trees of blue, red roses too. Right, <clears throat> so we're travelling along here, and we just want to, don't know actually yet, so that's us coming to 5,000 feet, I think we'll plug in 3,000 fleet, fleet, feet, and that'll keep us descending, um, the weather is uh, pretty awful today. Look at the waves. That's how you know it's windy. <laughs> so yeah, we've got 30 mile an hour winds, which isn't too bad. Could be worse for Barrett. Lovely. Okay, I think we are... I think we're all ready for the arrival. And here is the... Is that Barrett? Yes, yes it is. So the airport is on the other side. There it is. That's the airfield over there, I think. I say airfield, you know. Beach. <laughs> so, I am currently flying the aircraft manually. I uh, took manual control just a couple of minutes ago. Um, so this is the airfield. So what we're going to do is we're going to overfly, we're going to make a right turn, and then we're going to come down, because the winds are prevailing from that direction. So... Right. We are going to do a quick flyover, do a right turn, we'll come around. Got no flaps yet. There's the uh, airfield terminal. Not that it wants to load in for us. But I'm really just looking for that windsock. Windsock, the oh so kind windsock that hasn't loaded in for us today. Oh well, right. I'm gonna get 10 degrees of flaps coming down. I'm gonna make a uh, right turn here. I'm gonna get another notch of flaps down. Oh. Bumpy, with the wind coming off the mountains. It's okay. Looking around, of course, locks the controls. Comes another notch of the flapperoons. Uh, well, we are now we're at 30 degrees, yep. Yeah. So we're going to turn for final to the runway. Runway. Hold sort of 80 knots at the minute. We are turning now into the wind, so expecting to bounce around a little bit. There we are. So wind is coming from the north, uh, sorry, southwest. So we need to be coming from the northeast, which means we need to be heading southwest, which is two, one to two four, of course. So 50 knots across the ground at the minute. Lovely. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Alright, so. 
So what we're looking for is a nice touchdown. I'm gonna get flaps to 40 degrees now. There we go, flaps are set. We're doing 62 across the ground. We're gonna come in here, we're gonna look for the runway markers, but I feel like they've uh, not going to have loaded in for us. Yes, I don't think they will have, to be honest. But hey, the whole thing's a beach, it's not really the end of the world. Here we come. Better bombs, better bombs. Oh, there it is. There's the runway marker. Fully held off, fully held off. There we are. Lovely. Brilliant. We're doing 32 knots across the ground. That was a little bit harder, I think, than, uh, than would have been ideal, but uh, hey, we still got down. 181 according to uh, Valanta. I'm not sure what the stream was. Well, the video. We're going to get flaps up so we're not trying to depart ourselves. Uh, and we're basically just going to roll out now to the terminal. We're going to get, uh, get the engine shut down when we get to the terminal. And we'll park facing that way so that uh, um, when we open the passenger door it doesn't fly off. Here we come. That's my hand off the uh, controls, just spinning us around. Let's get this sorted now. Ta-da! Parking brake set. Right, let's come up here, get engine controls off, get the propellers rolling down. Get the lights off. People can see and hear the uh, propellers still spinning, so if they try and walk up to it, Shame on them. Right. Wonderful. There we are. That is Barra. Right. We'll come in here. We shall get uh, pumps off. Don't need them on at the moment. And we'll leave the generators on for the next person who's flying back. No, they're already off. And, yeah. So, that was it. That was the uh, nice trip out to Barra with a lovely 30 mile an hour prevailing wind um, yeah, slightly hard landing, but no, it was good fun so thank you very much for watching everybody uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, a little bit of a shorter one but uh, hopefully it's a little bit more compact so you guys uh, enjoy it a bit more but yeah, no, thanks very much for watching and we hope to see you in the very near future for an next live stream or video cheers now, bye bye